for the introduction. That was really nice what he said about THX. Uh, I really uh, feel uh, happy that I get to work for a company that that impacts the industry in the manner that we do. Uh, the first question uh, that comes to mind is why THX? Why do I want a certified panel? And it really goes back to what Robert said about George Lucas. Uh, he wanted to release Return of the Jedi, and he wanted the, you guys, the consumers and moviegoers, to, to see it in the same manner in which he toiled over in the mixing rooms and the editing suites in the recording studios. <coughs> he wanted you to see it with a great audio and video experience. And so that trickled down into the home audio market in the 90s. THX certified home audio electronics for your home theater. We wanted to bring that cinematic experience into the home. And so flash forward to 2006, THX launched the video program. And so we launched it with Runco, Panasonic, Sharp, LG. Soon followed, we also have JVC and Epson now. JVC is also available from Robert here at Value Electronics. They all make excellent products. Uh, the intent, like Robert said, is to see the content in which the manner the director intended. And so this THX logo that you'll see on the Elite, Panasonic, LG, uh, it really stands for quality. You'll know that once you get the THX display, certified display in your home, you take it out of the box, you put it on the wall, you put it on the stand, you know that the THX certified display, the movie mode, is the best, most accurate mode out of the picture, out of the display. So that's one thing that ensures the customer, by having a THX display, that they can go in OSD, go into the THX mode, and know that that's the best accurate picture mode. As Kevin said, that these are all the pre -cal factory calibrated modes that uh, the content will be playing on right now. And that's uh, very true for the Panasonic, LG, <coughs> those are in the THX modes. The Elite is not, and there's a good reason why it's not. Kevin will go into that a little bit later. So really, what does it make? How does a manufacturer get THX certification? Why, why is it so difficult? for them to reach that status of THX certification. But the big thing is that we create a, a specification that pulls from industry standards, REC 709, and we, we have a, a brain trust that <coughs> comes up with requirements that we think will provide a good viewing experience for the consumer. And so the first thing is color accuracy. We want to make sure that the display meets REC 709, has D65 throughout the range. We want to ensure proper primaries, secondaries, and gamma throughout the range. And so that's really the best visible thing that the consumer will see. Uh, Kevin, Dwayne, and Ed spend a lot of time calibrating displays. We know that they align with what we want for color accuracy. And so, <coughs> of course, they're, they're really important to the industry because they'll get that 110% out of the display. They'll make it the best as it can be in the market, in, your living room. And so we really align and we have the THX video calibrator program where it's not unlike ISF where we'll go to your home and, and calibrate the display for your environment. So the second thing that really ensures a, a great picture is panel performance. That's one thing, unfortunately they don't have any, uh, any access to, which is uniformity, off-axis viewing. Really what the display is capable of doing is whatever it is from the factory. And so what we do at THX, we measure dark uniformity, we measure gray uniformity, we measure white uniformity. We want to be able to look at a white field and know that this color of white is the same as the center. This color is the same as the bottom right hand side. And so that's really important, especially with these LED backlit sets with local dimming. You'll find Elite has done a, an excellent job with minimizing the halo effect. There's actually virtually no halo effect on the elite, unlike other methods of local dimming. And so that's the second part of THX certification is the panel performance. The last thing is motion processing. We, THX developed a bunch of proprietary test patterns to evaluate jaggies, uh, deinterlacing, contouring or banding, as well as uh, judder and noise reduction. Noise reduction is a very important fact because a lot of the sets with this uh, frame interpolation, they'll make it very smooth. And same thing with noise reduction. If you take out a lot of noise, you'll lose what the director intended you to see. And so we want to make sure that the sets come from the factory 
it, with a proper noise reduction setting in order to see that film grain that they, they want you to have. And so those th three things, color accuracy, panel performance, motion processing, those all go toward <coughs> creating this THX movie or cinema mode right out of the box, which is, we feel, the best mode that you can get out of any manufacturer's set. Now, one thing that you might not know is the process in which the panel gets THX certified. We update our specification on an annual basis, and that's submitted to the manufacturer. They design and engineer the THX mode to meet those requirements. Now, when it's not in THX, they can do whatever they want. They can, they can make it really bright for Vivid as they do. When it's expert, they can, uh, LG, what we've seen is they'll actually copy a lot of the settings from THX into the expert mode. So once they design and engineer the panel, they'll submit it to us in Shadowfell. A lot of times, they'll accompany the panel with an engineer from Japan, Korea, and a U.S. counterpart. And so once, that, once we're there, we're in a black lab, we're measuring the panel. And really, it's important to have them there so that they can see what the deficiencies, if any, there are. Um, John Dahl, our home theater educator, he likes to say that there's no product that's ever been certified on its first go round, and that's true. Audio electronics, and especially displays, THX always finds a bug, a deficiency, some type of thing that will prevent certification. And so when they're at the office, it's really important for them to see it and realize and agree upon the error. And they're able to improve it there at the facility in the best case scenario. Best case scenario, five days, it's certified. Worst case scenario, they'll have to go back to Japan, go back to Korea, bring their prototype, and then we'll have to, they'll have to re-engineer, not necessarily re-engineer, but they'll have to tweak it, modify it, in order to get it to pass the THX 2D and 3D requirement. And once it does, that might take a few weeks, might take a month. Uh, it's not done, it's certified, but it's not done. Our process is not complete. What we do is we'll request a product sample from the manufacturer as soon as they roll off the line in Mexico, we'll request that they send it to us at our facility. We want to ensure what you guys, the consumers get, is exactly what we saw in our lab. And so we'll request it from the manufacturer, We'll go to Value Electronics, we'll go to Best Buy, go to Amazon, we'll buy a panel, we'll measure it in our lab. We want to ensure that you guys get the best experience that you can. Now, in other cases, we'll actually go down to Mexico. We'll send our senior video engineer, he'll have his spectroradiometer, our pattern generator. We'll pull a display off of the line as it's being manufactured, create a black environment, and then measure it there at the factory. If it doesn't meet the requirements, what we'll do is we'll work with the engineer, they have to create a software off offset, and we don't leave the factory until it's done. And so it's, it's very nerve-wracking for the senior video engineer to do that because it's a very short time period in which we need to get the software implemented and into the sets. That way they don't lose any production time, and we ensure that you guys get the most accurate picture. So between the, the process of certification, the three things we look at, panel performance, color accuracy, motion processing, we feel that the THX mode on a THX certified display <coughs> is the best and most accurate out of box picture mode that you'll see. Sure. Yes, okay. sure. This is not to put you on the spot. This is sure. not to solve one of Robert's fights. Yeah. And speak well, loud. Well, Everybody uh, yeah. speak loud. The question I've got, now that we know the Elite has a color decoder issue, mm -hmm. and, and apparently it's, it's actually not, not a color decoder issue. It's not Every, color. Everybody's speaking well, that loudest well, voice. It's, it's a color, color, it's color, it's color, color, color issue. issue. It's a color issue. Or color issue. gamut yes, issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My question is, how did it pass the THX certification? Or was it a different software version you guys saw? Yeah, and that, that, that's a very good question. That's one thing that we want to ensure when we're looking at the prototype. Uh, we, we look at the, the exact same things that Kevin does for color accuracy. And it's we all want about the standards. That's what yeah, we yeah it's thing. all about the standards. And so we want to ensure the, the production sample to meet the same requirements that the prototype did. And so what we, were, we, we measured, and it looked good in our facility, and we actually have a, the 60 inch and 70 inch elite right now and we're evaluating it. And that's one thing that's good. Uh, you guys are the home theater enthusiasts. You guys are the reason why the manufacturers are here and making better products year after year. You guys push them to make better products, you push THX to push the manufacturers to make better products. And so it's a very good question and I think what Kevin found here with this, this cyan issue, uh, we'll, we'll be able to go back to our engineers just like Brad will go back to his engineer here at Elite directly 
and we'll get a resolution on that. Any other questions about Dan Jackson? Hey, Ed. Yes. Would you do me a favor, just run the video, the movie off the demo, just so we have some video rolling, please? Thank you. All right, thanks, Any Robert. other questions? Thanks. Any <laughs> questions from Cyberspace? <laughs> Not yet. Hey, John. Not yet. Hey, John. Uh, thanks for coming from. Oh, Sandra. of course. Yeah. This is a thank you. Executive shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Executive shirt. Yeah. Only executives get the white ones. <laughs> 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 thank you so very much. Yeah. If there's any questions, uh, I'll stick around for about half hour. That's great. Thanks. Yeah, John's making a flight back. He flew in yesterday from San Rafael, which is the headquarters for THX, uh, to be with us today. And in the goodie bags, he gave us a lot of nice uh, little gifts that are in there. Uh, everybody gets a bag. And it's a very nice